um, I am Victoria Sparks from the 5th District in Indiana, and I want to thank Congresswoman Escobar for inviting me to this trip. I'm also a member of the Immigration Subcommittee and an immigrant myself. And, um, you know, I feel we have a lot of challenges in our country. You know, it, they didn't happen overnight. And we do have a real crisis, and it didn't happen overnight, and it's not getting better. And if I came here, and I might, you know, have some different views on some solutions, but I came here because I would like to have a conversation with my colleagues. If we as Congress, as the House, are not willing to have a serious conversation about immigration and other serious issues, we'll never deliver good results and long-term results because these issues are complex. They cannot be solved overnight. It will take us to have reform from our legal immigration system, border security, looking at other visa processes, and really how we're dealing with uh, issues in Central America. So I would like to ask my colleagues, you know, to have a willingness to talk with Republicans in the current administration as well, and to send my message that I'm willing to have a conversation. So it's very positive for us to be together. It's very positive for us to hear all of the perspectives because we represent different, different parts of the country. But it's very important. They have a very strong country because we have the greatest country in the world that ever existed. What makes us the greatest country in the world because every person has the most freedom to succeed. And people want to be here. And I know that other countries have big challenges. Unfortunately, as Milton Friedman said, we cannot have open borders and welfare state, but we need to have a better immigration system and we need to have better reform because strong America are very important for the rest of the world because if we want to promote these freedoms, we need to be strong country of laws and strong country of freedoms and protect these freedoms for future generations. So I look forward to working with my colleagues. I look forward to making more trips and actually deliver real solutions because people are tired, people are exhausted. And we need to become an institution which can deliver good policy, an institution that actually works for the people of our country, not have drama, demagogy, grand spending. And it breaks my heart seeing all these little kids, and I understand that it's a big challenge for them, but ultimately, we represent the future for our country. If we have to be good, and we have to be more productive, and we have to deliver something that is going to serve our people better. And I look forward to working with my colleagues, and I think, Trips like that are important, and I'll try to invite more of my um, Republican colleagues. And I hope when we have Republican uh, trips, my Democrat colleagues will join us because we all love our country and want to do the best for our children and our future. Thank you for having me.